it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be finding out how much it costs to build the world's first all-wheel drive Miata. We'll go over the price of every single part we put into it, from the metal for the chassis, all the way to the tune. We'll total it up and we'll see how much it costs to build this car right here. But then we'll go back and see how much we could have done it for. I put a lot of parts and stuff on this car that were not necessary. We could have built this thing for a lot cheaper. And then last but not least, we will go over the price of what it would have cost to pay a fabricator to build this car for me. Me not touching a single thing, just having someone build this entire car right here for me. The numbers will surprise you. It's, it's pretty crazy how much we put into it, it's pretty crazy how cheaply we could have done it, and it's really crazy how expensive it could have been. My goal for this video is to inspire a lot of you guys to get out there, to learn how to fabricate, how to weld, so you can build really cool, really unique cars for cheap. You know, you don't need a fortune to build something that's really cool and really unique. But let's get started. It all started when I bought a donor car. So I bought a blown up WRX that had a built motor for 600 bucks. It was a steel. It had the engine, had the drivetrain, the suspension, a bunch of good internals in the engine, whole bunch of awesome parts, cub access port, yada, yada, yada. Bought that for 600 bucks. I then bought a new block for 200 bucks, machined the block for 450, and got it rebuilt with my friend Zach, Marshall Motorsports, for $1,750. So that's, that's, that's what starts off this build. $3,000 for every part, pretty much every part we need to get it running and driving. The first thing we did was cut the chassis up and start fabricating. The metal for all the tubing on the car, the front chassis, the roll cage, was $950. Next, we'll go to the fuel system. Fuel system was $2,200. That was a new fuel rail. That was all the fuel lines, fuel pump, fuel injectors, everything from Beachworks. They get this thing ready to make 600 wheel horsepower on E85. Obviously it doesn't make that, it doesn't have the turbo for it, but the fuel system is capable for that. The next thing, cooling. So this is a rear mount radiator, so we had to buy the radiator and all the lines to get the coolant from the front of the engine, or well, from the front of the car where the engine is, back to where the radiator is. The radiator was 460 bucks, the fans 260, the lines 420, and the water pump, which I forgot to mention, was $180. Cooling system all in, $1,320. After that, we will go to bodywork. So obviously this car used to be an ugly, spray painted, rusty piece of crap. So we bought new fenders from Moss Miata for $460. Me and my friend Tyler bodyworked the car. We repainted it. I paid Tyler for his time and all of the materials I used from him. That was $1,500 and I bought the paint for $400. So all in to get this thing World Rally Blue and looking awesome, it was $2,300. We can go to the engine upgrades next, which was a big one. We did a lot of stuff to this engine to make it faster than stock. We have a new intercooler, a new intake from Mishimoto, that was $800. We have a tile, 38 millimeter external wastegate for 300 bucks, tile blow off valve, 260 bucks, a boost controller, 120, Bucks. A wide band to make sure that the engine is running correctly, $170. A new turbo to make more horsepower, 250 bucks. I bought that used, that was a really good deal. And then of course, a clutch to hold all of the horsepower for 800 bucks. Engine upgrades all in, $2,700. Now we also upgraded the suspension and the, the brakes a little bit. We got new front brakes for 240 bucks, new rear brakes for 130 bucks, new brake lines, 130 bucks. And then we got new springs, new struts, and a new top hat for the front suspension, 400 bucks. So all these suspension and brake upgrades was $1,050. We also got bushings for 150 bucks. Forgot to mention that, but that was included in the 1,050. One of the big expenses was getting the custom drivetrain parts to get this thing all wheel drive. Obviously the rear axles were different, and the drive shaft was different. So I had to get both of those made by drive shaft shop. That was $1,900 for two axles and a drive, uh, drive shaft. Then we made a new exhaust for 480 bucks, which was really pretty cheap because we fabricated it. That was only mufflers and some piping. The interior was $1,280, $1,000 for seats and harnesses and then another $280 for that awesome Momo wheel. And then last but not least, we have a tune for $800, and I added $1,000 for miscellaneous stuff. So that includes 
foil, you know, all the trips to Advanced Auto for a bunch of small stuff, wire for the wiring, spray paint for the roll cage, all the random stuff, all the little things that add up day by day. Uh, I think a thousand probably actually isn't enough because I spend a lot, you know, I spend a lot on just random crap, but we'll add a thousand for that. So all sudden and done, to build this car sitting as it is, $18,980. Now that's a lot of money. And that was also retail for everything. I obviously got sponsorships for a bunch of stuff, a bunch of companies and people helped out. So that's not what I actually paid, but that's what it would cost. You could buy a bunch of cool cars for $18,000, $19,000. Now you could probably buy a BRZ, you could buy an STI, you could put a down payment on a brand new car. You could buy a lot of really cool and probably faster stuff than this. Well, maybe not, it's pretty fast. So the point is $18,000, $19,000, it is a lot of money. I didn't have to spend all that money on this thing though. I could have built the world's first all-wheel drive Miata for a lot cheaper. I didn't have to upgrade the engine, didn't have to upgrade the suspension, didn't have to upgrade the interior, didn't have to get it painted, didn't have to do all of this crap. Could have just fabricated the chassis, spray painted that, spray painted the body, put it all together, and it would have been still really fun and still really fast. You know, stock turbo, stock tune, still is 250 horsepower, still all wheel drive. That would still be pretty rowdy. If I only bought the metal, if I only bought the donor car and then a new engine instead of rebuilding the current engine, bought the drivetrain components, bought the exhaust, and bought maybe half of the miscellaneous stuff, it would have been $6,750 to build an all-wheel drive Miata. I could have done it for seven grand, which is crazy cheap. I bought my first WRX wagon for nine grand, which was much lower than it would have been if it was in this car, much less cool, much more practical. But the point is, is $7,000 is not a lot of money. You can't buy that many cool things for $7,000. So the fact that we could have built the world's first all-wheel drive Miata and it still have been fast and fun for $7,000, is insane. I'm happy we went the way we went and we spent the extra money to make it look better and to make it faster. Definitely happy about that. But we could have done it for much cheaper. And that's the thing that I want you guys to realize. If you know how to do stuff yourself, it can be really cheap. But let's talk about how much it costs if you don't know how to do stuff yourself. So the average fabricator charges somewhere between $40 and $80 an hour. It's a pretty fair price for melting metal together with lightning. Let's focus on $40 an hour, the lowest end of the margin. I spent eight hours a day, five days a week, for five straight months building this car, which is 800 hours of work. And that's probably conservative, because I work more than eight hours a day, and I usually work on the weekends. Let's say 800 hours at $40 an hour, that is, um, well, you know, let me, uh, you know, I forgot to add this part, all right? I have a whole list of math and numbers all over the place, and this is the one number I forgot. $40 an hour times 800, that's $32,000 to pay someone just the labor to build this car. The labor and all the, the money we actually spent on the car, that is $50,980. $51,000 to pay someone to build this car. $51,000. Fabricators are expensive and building custom stuff like this is very expensive. I know what you might be thinking. Fabricator, they're gonna know what they're doing better than I did, so they probably would build it quicker. And you're right. So instead of 800 hours, let's say 400 hours, it still would have cost $34,980 to build this entire thing. So $16,000 to pay a fabricator to build it plus the cost of the car. So I saved at minimum $16,000, at maximum $32,000, possibly even more, by building the car myself. And that's what I want you guys to take from this. I had a whole bunch of fun building this car myself. Um, I learned a whole bunch of stuff building this car myself, and I saved myself a whole crap of money. It's not easy learning how to fabricate, and it takes some time, for sure. But think about a year ago, I didn't know really how to weld that well. I couldn't TIG weld an exhaust. And honestly, two years ago is when I first had the idea. And back then I literally had zero fabrication skill. You know, even if it takes you two years of time to learn how to fabricate, it's still worth it. Now, the other thing you might be thinking is that I have a bunch of tools here. I've got a nice welder, I've got a tube bender, angle grinder, drill press, yada, yada, yada. So let's take that into account. That HTP MIG welder, that bad boy cost 
$2,200. The two bender that is right here cost me 700 bucks. And then let's add another 700 bucks miscellaneous stuff for the drill, for the vise, for all that kind of random crap. That's $3,600. So even though I had to buy all the tools to do it, I still save at minimum $2,400 by doing it myself. But yeah, guys, that's that. $19,000 to build this car could have been $7,000, could have been $50,000. And let me say, if it would have been $50,000, this build would not have happened. I got out there, I learned how to fabricate, and I just tried it. Now, even at the, at the beginning of this build, I didn't know how to bend a tube. I just jumped right into it and I figured it out. Now, with that being said, I don't want you guys to go and weld a little piece of metal together with your Harbor Freight welder and, oh, hey, you know what, that seems strong enough, and then build an entire car with it because that could be dangerous. You have to be confident in your welding skills and your skills as a fabricator before you build a car. If you wanna build a really cool car, but you don't, have the money to pay someone to do it, buy a cheap Harbor Freight welder, learn how to weld, build some things around the house. You know, maybe you wanna build yourself a table, maybe you wanna build a railing, whatever. Practice welding. Once you get good enough with a cheap welder, sell that welder, buy a little bit better of a welder. Start making some simple bolt-on stuff for your car. Maybe make an exhaust, maybe make a strut tire brace. Simple stuff that if you do it wrong, doesn't put you in danger. You know, I started with a drift truck by making the suspension, which could definitely put me in danger if I didn't do it right, but I did it right, thankfully. Once you're confident with building bolt-on stuff, sell that welder, buy a better welder, buy an HTP welder, and then build yourself a full car. The point is, is that if you take some time, you learn how to do it, you can build anything you want for a pretty reasonable price. You know, two years ago, when I first thought of the idea, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it myself. And I thought I was gonna have to spend 30, 50 grand to build the car, which is why it took so long for it to actually happen. But I learned how to do it and here. So guys, that's it. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you uh, are maybe a little bit more inspired. Or I hope you are very surprised at the fact that I put $19,000 into a rusty Miata, because I certainly am. <laughs> that, that's just this build too. If we took in the price of buying the car, then supercharging it, then getting bored of that and selling it. Now this, this is probably easily a $25,000 Miata, which is, oof. The other thing I wanna say is that no matter how much I saved by fabricating everything myself, I still would not have been able to afford this build without all of you guys. All the support on YouTube, on Patreon, and all of my sponsors. So thank you guys so much for making this build possible. I'm about to get the last tool I need to fabricate some more stuff on it, and then we are ready to rip it. So you guys will be seeing that soon. Going back to this video, if you did enjoy it, please give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, please give it a dislike. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We're pretty much at 500,000 subscribers, half a million subscribers, which is insane. Thank you guys so much. In the next video, we're gonna be fixing the death wobble on the truck. If you wanna see that video right now, you can head over to Patreon, become a patron, and see that video. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Peace out. Bye-bye.